Chinu came up with another example, right? Now he says that we have rupees these days and these rupees have 25 pesa, 50 pesa, 75 pesa. Now these pesas can be called as the quarter, half and three fourth. How and why so? Let us do it. Now here one rupee has 100 pesa. If you divide 100 with 4, you get 25 pesa. Now 25 pesa is actually one fourth of a rupee that is quarter of a rupee. Or otherwise in the next case we can divide this 100 with 2. In that case you will get 50 and 50 pesa will give you half of a rupee, right? Now next is the one fourth. So one fourth of a rupee gives us 25 pesa and that is if multiplied with 3 that gives us 75 pesa. So we can call it the 3 fourth of a rupee. Similarly, we can have so many different examples for length and for weights also. Now if 1 kg has 1000 grams, we all know. And if 1000 is divided with 4, what do we get? 250 grams. So 250 grams is known as the quarter of 1 kg or 1 fourth of a kg, right? 1 kilometer has 1000 meters and if we divide this 1000 with 4, what do we get? We get 250 meters. So 250 meters can be known as the 1 fourth of 1 kilometer or we can call it quarter of a kilometer. Also, we can see 500 meters is actually just half of that. So we can call 500 meters as a half kilometer.